Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President of the State of Israel, Mr. Shimon Peres, accompanied by the President of the Hebrew University, Professor Menachem Ben Sasson. But um, as we wait for the, hold on for a second. Okay, we have, uh, we have another guest coming up. So you wait just here for a couple of minutes. I'll go and bring some very, very special guests, especially for you. Hold on. I'm serious. Okay, who is the genius who decided to play a joke on me in the middle of uh, such an uh, important... Such which be me. Is that really you? <laughs> Professor Einstein? Really? I'm, <laughs> really? I'm speechless. How can it be? Professor, if you don't mind me asking, what are you actually doing here? I am working on a new formula to improve the fermenting of cabbage in order to make better sauerkraut. <laughs> God, Himmel. Wrong again. Actually, Professor, I meant to ask what brings you here now as Israel hosts the opening of the 2012 Asian Science Camp at the Hebrew University. Curiosity, of course. What did you find when you got here? A young nation in the making, full of people teeming with life and enthusiasm from the ancient capital of Jerusalem to the rebirth of Hebrew culture in the young coastal city of Tel Aviv. And the communities, the kibbutz communities in the Galilee, it was all very exciting. A true affirmation that the Jewish homeland representing the best of Jewish culture and values could be a reality for our people and an inspiration to the world. Professor Einstein, you have always viewed cultural Judaism and the many, many of the fundamental teachings of uh, Jewish education as springboard for driving excellence and promoting universal values. The pursuit of knowledge for its own sake, an almost fanatical love of justice, and the desire for personal independence. These are the features of the Jewish tradition, which makes me thank my stars that I belong to it. So you may be proud to hear that nearly 90 years following its establishment, the Hebrew University here in Jerusalem today is a thriving academic institution that is highly regarded all over the world. And it's only one example of the state of Israel's continuing dominance as uh, one of the world's most innovative leaders in advancing cutting-edge science and technology in multiple fields. Uh, don't just talk about it. I'm curious. Show me. Israel has been at the forefront of breakthrough biological and generic research. We have become a recognized global powerhouse in the telecommunications industry, creating 21st century infrastructure and protocols for traditional operators. Israel develops breakthrough agriculture techniques for improving crop yield, variety, and quality in all kinds of climate conditions. Uh, we are helping to uh, slow down soil erosion and the spread of deserts, spearheading the development of state-of-the-art greenhouse environments and introducing farmers everywhere to environmentally safe biocrop protection pests. The drip irrigation technologies Israel has perfected to make the desert bloom are helping to grow crops and save water resources across the globe, Professor. Quite a distinguished legacy you are building here. Yes. <laughs> but slow down. Right. I can keep up with so much innovation. Our audience may be interested to know that around the same time you were involved in the launching of the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, you visited uh, East Asia. Yes, indeed. That was the most enthusiastic welcome I have ever received in my life. In my travels throughout Asia, 
I felt the people genuine sincerity more keenly than in any other country. I assumed it was because they respected science. I was delighted and felt extremely happy. So right now, at this moment, hundreds of the brightest young scientific minds are presenting some 23 countries across Asia are sitting in the crowd. What kind of advice can you give the professor? Imagination is more important than knowledge. Imagination? Yes. Knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world. It stimulates progress and gives birth to evolution. One cannot help but be in awe when contemplating the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one tries to merely to comprehend a little of the mystery every day. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Never lose curiosity! <laughs> What's next on the program this evening? Well, would you do us the honor of introducing President Shimon Peres to our audience? Now that would be closing a loop in space and time. It would be my pleasure and privilege. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, let me present to you Professor Albert Einstein. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor and pleasure to call upon to the stage the President of the State of Israel, Mr. Shimon Peres. Professor Einstein could have been the president of Israel, but there is no president of Israel that could have been Professor Einstein. <laughs> so you see, we are relative. <laughs>